Harvard Divinity School. Buddhist Ministry Initiative, 10th Anniversary Celebration. Closing Remarks, October 27th, 2022. Thank you to all of our wonderful alumni and speakers and to Janet and Charlie who are guiding us in this discussion this evening. I'm just gonna say a little bit of thanks to some of the people who helped organize these events because I know we're already over time and I appreciate, I appreciate everyone who's hung in there so long for us. Um, and then I'm gonna turn to Janet with one last question so that she can have the last word of this, of this wonderful evening. But first I need to thank the, the of course, the Robert H. and Ho Family Foundation, the faculty members who make up the Buddhist Ministry Committee, Janet Gatso, Charlie Hallisey, Cheryl Giles, Chris Berlin, and Dudley Rose and Emily Click, who were the previous Associate and Assistant Dean of Ministry Studies who helped create the Buddhist Ministry Initiative. We also need to thank Julie Gillette, who helped coordinate the Buddhist Ministry Initiative for nine and a half of its 10 years and wish her well on her new adventures. And thank Jonathan McCransky, who is now the coordinator for multi-religious ministry initiatives who start us, started us off this evening and has helped um, deeply in organizing this entire process. Lastly, I have to thank a whole bunch of people without whom we would not be here. Leslie and Dawn in the Office of Ministry Studies, Sue and her staff in operations, Bob and Robbie, who are even now in the back of the room and behind the cameras, Kyle and the wonderful Crimson Catering staff, Lori, Megan, Christy, and Nancy in Development and Alumni Relations, and the entire communications team, including Caroline, who's still in the back of the room taking photos long after I told her she could go home. So thank you to all of you. This demonstrates that the Buddhist Ministry Initiative is not an OMS project. It is truly an, a, a project of Harvard Divinity School and Harvard University as a whole, and it is definitely a work of generosity and love. Now to end the program, I just, I, w I have a pressing question for Janet. Um, so this is the anniversary of 10 years of the Buddhist Ministry Initiative, but it's also the culmination of a lot of history longer than that. But what do you want to see in the future for the Buddhist Ministry Initiative? What do you most hope for, for the students, for the alumni, for the institution, for the world in relation to the BMI? And that will be our last word. Well, thank you for giving me the last word. It's been uh, just wonderful and lovely to hear all of the accounts from the students and to think about this program. I am indeed extremely proud of it and uh, just how wonderful it has been and continues to be. And I feel as if what we're doing now is a kind of seed for what can grow into even a bigger plant a bigger tree as we continue to do our work. I feel that the, the two major in initiatives that we have taken, one is the Buddhist Ministry Working Group, which has really catalyzed and brought together the, the training and the vision of what Buddhist ministry means so far in North America. Uh, it's it's amazing contribution, but we need to extend it further. Uh, our international um, access and program that we have, that's been facilitated by the visiting scholars um, is fantastic, but it needs to be expanded. So we need to ex extend the reach of the Buddhist ministry working group uh, to institutions certainly in Asia, of which there are many and from which we have a great deal to learn, and they have a lot to learn from us uh, and around the world. Uh, and that international uh, cooperation and collaboration at this particular point in time, given the increasing global nature of our world and our values and our discourse, uh, we're very much coming together. We need to learn from each other uh, and we need to help to um, build and envision really what, uh, what wisdom, what knowledge, what practical knowledge we can take from Buddhist tradition and apply to the current um, extremely difficult world problems that we're facing. So I'm really thinking a lot about Buddhist leadership, Buddhists really stepping up to the world stage, uh, in terms of 
the kind of ethical contributions that we can make to living on our planet now. So uh, it means doing more of what we're doing, doing it better, and uh, extending the reach further. So I hope all these things will be possible. And I'm saying this uh, auspicious prayer and uh, statement and hoping that that will come to pass. Thank you, everyone. And good night to those of you on Zoom, or good morning to those of you who are joining us from Asia. Sponsor, Harvard Divinity School Office of Ministry Studies. Copyright 2022, the President and Fellows of Harvard College.